And of course, memories, dreams. Did you know that the word trauma comes from the Greek for wound? Hmm? And what is the German word for dream? Traum. Allein Traum. Wounds can create monsters, and you, you are wounded, Marshal. Hi everyone, I am Sergei Mokhrov. I just watched the trailer of the second season of the Westworld series, and that reminded me of a thing from the first season. I came on an important thought. In general, it's a very complex, high-quality series, catchy and thought-provoking. But one particular moment from the first season comes back again and again. That's where a robot, Maeve, upon realizing that her memories of her daughter aren't real, that they were implanted, demands from the technician to delete them, because they are causing a lot of distress. And the technician explains in lame terms that that's impossible, because that memory of a past tragedy is the core of her personality. All the maze behavioral mechanics is built around that trauma. Despite the fact that the trauma is artificial, that it's implanted, and these events never took place. In reality, she might have been through something much worse, but she doesn't remember it. Her personality isn't built around it. I think this is a very non-trivial idea, very valuable to analyze. To what degree a personality is built around a trauma or a tragedy? How a trauma or a tragedy can become a gestalt of a personality? An axis around which all the rest does orbit? On one hand, it's understandable and natural, and it's very human, to live through traumas and tragedies this way. On the other hand, as robot is unable to close that gestalt, I bet that a robot can't outplay a developed human. If a human is him or herself built around a gestalt, a trauma, an event from the past, a robot will outplay him or her easily. But here robots have a built-in limitation, which they can't surpass. And I guess this aspect will play out in the storyline more than once. Oddly enough, a big trauma can bring a hidden benefit for a man, so-called secondary gain. And that's why to some extent it's beneficial for a man to hold on to that feeling. It gives a very clear definition of who he is, what he does in the world, what's his purpose. And when a man tries to close the Gestalt, his efforts will be opposed by his ego, because the ego always preserves itself, protects itself from change. Psychologists know this resistance. It plays out during therapy and everyday life as well. In order to change, there needs to be a decision from a higher layer of the psyche. There's a joke. How many psychologists are needed to change a light bulb? One is enough if the light bulb is ready for change. That's true, but the person has to overrun his fear of change because the old person ceases to exist and a new one comes to life, similar to the old one to some extent, but a different one nonetheless. This new person has new interests, new goals, it worries about new problems. The goal he or she has had, which the person had worked toward, these goals lose meaning, become nonsensical, there's a new deeper realization. As Tyler Durden said, you are not the clothes you wear, you are not the house you live in, you are not the contents of your wallet, you are not the car you drive. In the same way, you are not your traumas, you are not your past, oddly enough. That's a paradox. Because you can equally say that you are your traumas and your past. In literature and art, there's this recurring theme of revenge, especially long-lasting and high-complex revenge. From Count of Monte Cristo to half of today's cinema. What's the ending of Kill Bill? A hysteria. We aren't shown what's next, but possibly the main character will have an existential crisis because she doesn't know what to live for. 
She might think she'll live for her daughter, but that's not certain. Korean old boy is all about a long line of revenge, first in one direction, then in the opposite. And when a character fulfills his revenge, he no longer has any reasons to live, literally. Hero by Zhang Yumo. A man's life is so much built around revenge that he even has no name. In the end, he realizes that this approach limits him as a spiritual person, realizes senselessness of his plan, changes his mind. But not many people manage to reach this height, especially considering the price he paid. There are softer playouts. If you remember Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, the heroine, a young girl, has never been to the monastery but has a very strong opinion of it and of its inhabitants. The opinion that she got from her mistress. Another master tries to change her mind. The girl resists, playing out a familiar scenario, because her gestalt gives easy explanations, allows to quickly sort out people, events, values. To sort them with very little thinking. You are from there, and they are all bad. Period. The ending is sad. She gets that she was wrong, but it's too late. This light bulb was not ready for change. That's why it's dangerous when a mother paints a father black, or paints all the men black. It brings forward different consequences for boys and girls, but sad consequences anyway. Child is usually unable to perceive mother's messages critically. Mother is the embodiment of truth. By the moment that a child is capable of recognizing the limits of mother's opinion, it's possible that the child is around 30 and his or her own life is cracked or wrecked. Men aren't much better at this. Anybody saying, all women are like, blah blah, does the same. A simple answer to a complex question. On one hand, it quickens and simplifies decision-making. On the other hand, it bisects the world to black and white, and thus seriously limits the growth. They are the same danger. The girls who think all men are blah blah, and the boys who think all women are blah blah. So one of the main directions of self-development is to be able to disassociate, disengage with your traumas, and to some extent, with your past. That's the thought that came to me upon hearing a robot from this world. I wish you healing for your traumas, and strength and courage to let them go, disengage them. Good luck.